creating your first bot. After connecting the exchange and making the first manual strategy, you can create your first Wunderbit trading bot. To start the process, click on the Create a Bot button and you will be transferred to the bot settings page. This page is divided into two parts. The part on the right hand side consists of trading view alerts details and YouTube tutorials on how to set up bot based on the trading view indicator for which you do not have the code and how to set up the trading view strategy for the PineScript code. We also provide some free trading view strategies that you can easily apply on Wunderbit Trading using our code and platform. You would be able to find the link to all of the free strategies in the description below. Trading view alert details is a vital piece of information that you will have to import in your alert from TradingView. It is constructed based on the first block from the left hand side of the current window. To start creating the bot, input the bot name, select the exchange and the API with which you would like to trade, select the time frame. The time frame will primarily depend on the trading view chart that you are using for your bot. For example, if your bot is operating on the 15 minute chart, then you have to input a 15 minute time frame in the bot settings as well. The last thing that you have to do in order to complete the alert detail is select the pair that you would like your bot to trade. After that, you need to select the order type. If you would like your bot to enter immediately upon receiving the alert, you will select the market order. However, if you would like your bot to wait for the particular price after receiving the alert from TradingView, please use the limit order. If you select the limit order, then you can select the deviation of the price for the entry from the entry alert. Let me explain a little bit more on how that works. Assume that you receive an alert from TradingView to enter a trade. From the point of the alert, the bot will look at the most recent last bid or ask price for the selected asset on the exchange and then apply the deviation from that price to determine the limit price level. If you are entering a long position, then the price for your limit order will be last bid or ask price minus the price deviation. The opposite is true for the short position. Afterwards, you need to select the trading amount and this once again can be selected as either the portfolio share or the fixed amount. The next important setting for your bot is called multiple entries. This feature allows your bot to scale into the position. In the TradingView strategy, this is called pyramiding. This function will create an additional strategy every time when your bot receives an alert for the new entry in the same direction. There are two exit options that are available if you are using multiple entries. The first one is to treat each additional entry as a separate strategy with its own take profit and stop loss levels. The second option is to enable the exit all function. If this option is enabled, then as soon as the alert to exit the strategy is received, it will automatically close all the strategies that were opened by the multiple entry. The next step would be to select the take profit targets and the stop loss level. To select the take profit, first determine the amount of the position that you would like to sell once the take profit target will be reached and then determine the take profit target. You can then set the second and third take profits in a similar manner. In case you set multiple take profit targets, but you would like your bot to stay in the trade until the exit alert is received, you can put your last take profit target abnormally high. For example, you can input the take profit as 1000%. To select the stop loss level, just specify the percentage which will be calculated from the entry price. If you are trading on a spot market, the stop loss is a mandatory field. If your trading view script already includes the stop loss level and it varies from one entry to another, you can either leave this field empty if you are trading on the futures market or make it equal to 100% if you are trading on the spot.